Okay, let's go and uh, let's develop the knight. Let's develop this knight. We're on the last legs of um, preparing for the tournament. Just want to make sure everything is fine. Shall we just bring the bishop here, attacking the knight? It's strange because we do all of this training and we feel good about the preparation and when you're actually playing the games you just feel like you've gone onto a different planet the most simplest of openings becomes like a they could do this they could do that the if buts maybe shoulda woulda coulda type situation kicks in right from the first move it is so weird when you're playing over the board you do all this fancy stuff online um, but playing over the board it just goes out of the window and this is why you see many strange moves or missed opportunities etc from many players who play over the board because it's they do get that nobody can deny it you get this feeling of they could do so many things and if i do this simple move they might do something that there's billion trillion ways they can actually respond to it so everybody's panicked until they're winning <laughs> it's as simple as that Alright, so our idea is um, we don't mind doubling the pawns, but we do know doubling the pawns can cause problems, probably to coming towards the end game type thing, but sometimes you just can't avoid it. At this moment in time, can't bring the bishop back to support, we can bring the queen to support, but I don't think that's the best thing to do, but I am going to do it. Don't think I'm queenside castling. So we're going to take with the queen. The knight probably jumping here at some point, but he's got the x-ray through at the minute. So they're probably going to hit our bishop. <laughs> exact move as well. So we can take, it's not got a check on the king. His knight doesn't have a check on our king, but he gets to double our pawns. And if we move the queen out of the way, we don't have any checks on their king, we would lose the bishop. So we might as well take their queen. See how that move order land lies. This pawn's doing a nice job stopping this knight from jumping there anyway. So I'm not going to lose any sleep over that. So fairly even exchange. Apart from they can get this pawn here. But if they get the pawn, we can save the bishop. And that's probably what they're thinking now. They probably thought, oh, I'm going to get a free pawn, but not really. Let's attack the bishop. They may go, no, I'm going to double some more pawns, but luckily we don't have anything behind the knight, so we can just move the knight out of the way. It's going to take, double their pawns. And then shall we just go and castle, or should we attack first? I'm going to bring the rook here, giving them something to think about, easily defended. Could even just bring the king here don't even need to go full castle all right so um, there's none of this none of that would sack the pawn don't think there's any benefits there no normal castle or bring the king up it's just that it's going to be opposite their king isn't it so let's just do normal castle let's bring the rook across this could peter out to be a draw quite nicely I'm not precious about any draws in any way, shape. Um, I'm the lowest player in the in our section, the major section. So any draws, I'll take a draw if it is it looks drawish. What weaknesses have we got at this moment in time? We've got double pawns here. Got an, a single pawn on the far side. So you'd think they probably want to try and maybe work these pieces together. I don't know. Um, I'm just thinking because they've got these pawns in a better formation you'd think that they'd be moving the knight out of the way to try and make these work either in a defense mode or in some sort of attacking position they do have double pawns here but this one's already extended so they could look to start trying to challenge this pawn here in front of our king it does look like they've left the game so i think all my narration 
probably has covered off all the aspects of that draw mentality of can I fight through a drawn position to a winning position and this player obviously doesn't have the motivation or maybe the skills or the interest in going for a draw or trying to win from the draw. I'll take it. 